Roll out. Level 2 slash 5059. Classified. Item number. SCP-5059. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-5059 is stored in a standard high-value anomalous item locker in the safe objects wing of Site-17, sub-level 2, locker 09932. Instances of SCP-5059-1 must be contained under HCP. Footnote. Humanoid Containment Protocol. A set of four standardized protocols for dealing with progressively more destructive, powerful anomalous humanoids. 1 through 3. Depending on the properties of the instance's altered vehicular state until their expiration. No more than 10 instances of SCP-5059-1 may be retained for study at this time. Testing with SCP-5059 can only be approved by the item's HMCL supervisor, currently Dr. Albert Frampton. Description: SCP-5059 is a VHS videotape containing the 1986 animated film Transformers the Movie. The cassette shows no special resistance to damage or age-related wear. Tape spools contained therein have proven to be portable to other cassette cases when its current housing breaks while retaining anomalous properties. Direct copies of SCP-5059 retain the item's anomalous properties, but have been destroyed subsequent to verification. D-Class Asset Review of the content of SCP-5059 does not reveal any deviation from the original cinematic release of Transformers the Movie, according to the best of their memory. And machine analysis of the contents of each tape reveals their content to be identical. The anomalous properties of SCP-5059 only manifest after a complete viewing of the film. Footnote. Defined as watching from time marker 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, to 1, 23, 0, 0. After its completion, subjects report an anomalous desire to emulate the characters depicted in the film. Within the first hour after viewing SCP-5059, the subject, now designated SCP-5059-1, will spontaneously reorganize their biology into the form of a functional scale model vehicle. Instances of SCP-5059-1 do not create additional matter or change the chemical composition of their flesh during a rollout event. The color, texture, and durability of SCP-5059-1's tissues also remains the same. SCP-5059-1 instances universally describe the process as incredibly painful, with many transformations requiring the breaking and reshaping of bones tearing and reforming of ligaments, and complete reconfiguration of organ systems, as well as many forms of rapid tissue growth, as in the case of windows and signal lights. This discomfort subsides immediately upon the event's completion, and may be initiated again, at will, at any time. Removal of clothing prior to initiation has proven to drastically reduce this discomfort. For more details, please see Experiment Log TF-5059-1 through dash 5. Experimentation Logs TF-5059-1 Subject SCP-5059-1A Charlie Bookbinder Male Age 17 Vehicular Form 1973-74 Dodge Challenger Scale 1 to 5 Summary Instance discovered outside containment in February 2017 No change in mass Subject's eyes translocated, duplicated, and became capable of bioluminescence to serve as headlights. Brain case was relocated into the lower front chassis. Heart and digestive system rearranged to serve as engine and fuel system, respectively. Heart and lungs accessible under hood, constructed of skin and upper rib cage. Tires composed primarily of highly keratinized skin. Power windows and windscreen composed of translucent keratin material similar in composition to fingers-slash-toenails. Interior consists of mucous membrane tissue. Maximum dynamometer rating of 192 bhp at wheels. Current status. SCP-5059-1A attempted to breach containment prior to planned exploratory surgery 
on its vehicular form. Instance accelerated down Site 17 Medical Wing Hallway, reaching a top speed of approximately 80 kilometers per hour. Failed to slow in time for a 90 degree turn and collided with a concrete block wall. Brain case destroyed. Cardiopulmonary system destroyed. Instance expired within two minutes of impact. TF-5059-2 Subject SCP-5059-1B D8229 Female, age 40 Vehicular form Late model Cessna 178 Skyhawk Scale 1 to 3 Summary Similar interior and windscreen materials to previous tests. Wings appear to have been derived from translocated ribs and chest muscles. Elevators derived from scapular bones. Propeller blades are covered with enamel, suggesting that they are modified incisors. Mobile control surfaces of the aircraft, constructed of cartilage. Eyes emerged within cockpit seat, allowing SCP-5059-1B to have a pilot's eye view while transformed. Instance is capable of powered flight. Top speed, 100 knots. Current status. During powered flight testing at a Foundation airfield in Nevada, SCP-5059-1B experienced heat exhaustion, brought on by overexertion of her cardiopulmonary system, necessary to keep her in flight. Instance appears to have lost consciousness at an altitude of 400 meters. Consciousness was regained at approximately 50 meters altitude, resulting in rapid corrective action. Landing gear and ventral fuselage damaged, but Instance survived. Subsequent reconfiguration from vehicle to human mode reveals severe fracturing of tibia and fibula, and multiple lacerations to lower abdominal region. Instance remanded to containment under HCP-2 following recovery. No further testing is authorized on this instance. TF-5059-3 Subject SCP-5059-1C D8238 Male, age 25 Vehicular form M4 Sherman Tank Scale 1 to 10. Summary. Subject has a history of masochism and was willing to initiate, roll out, events with much greater frequency than past instances. Main cannon derived from elongation and expansion of the T4 vertebral section. Treads derived from multiplied and altered rib cage, stretched over wheel muscles, which move the treads via peristalsis. Turret is fully functional, constructed primarily of cranial bones and still housing the brain and eyes. Instance is capable of pulling a fully loaded railroad freight car when properly harnessed. Current status. During testing of SCP-5059-1C's testing in the Site-17 Armory, the instance was instructed to fire its cannon, to which it readily complied. SCP-5059-1C's heart was ejected from the main cannon at a rate of 257 meters per second. Instance expired of exsanguination within 90 seconds. TF-5059-4 Subject, SCP-5059-1D Junior Researcher, Marco Del Gutierrez Male, 29 Vehicular Form, 1970 Volkswagen Beetle Scale 1-3 to three. Summary, Accidental Exposure Due to Copy Testing by the AV Department J.R. Gutierrez was not informed of the anomalous properties of SCP-5059 and observed the copy process personally to guarantee the fidelity of the recording. SCP-5059 has since been flagged as cognitohazardous material to prevent future accidents of this nature. As in previous tests, eyes have enlarged and taken on bioluminescence. Cranial cavity has expanded to make room for the forward cargo compartment and all cardiopulmonary functions are translocated to the rear abdominal cavity. SCP-5059-1D is capable of 50 bhp at the wheels, otherwise similar to SCP-5059-1A in composition. Current status. SCP-5059-1D remains in indefinite containment under HCP-1. Exploratory surgery is not authorized for this instance. SCP-5059-1D has expressed satisfaction with current vehicular form and has not attempted to return to its original humanoid body plan, citing personal preference. Instance retains level 1 clearance and is authorized to assist in janitorial and administrative tasks. TF-5059-5 Subject, 
SCP-5059-1E, D-8302, non-binary, twenty, via Kiko Fox, 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 I will not describe how to reconfigure human biology into a viable rocket fuel and lift vehicle. Sarkics with jetpacks are the absolute last thing that we need. Dr. Frampton.